everybody. We're back today talking about a new Inquisitor ability that came with the Jaws of Hacken DLC. Uh, I'm going to show you where to get it, how to get it, uh, how you use it, and how it kind of specs out all the different variations of it. So the first thing to know when you get out to Frostback Basin is that you're going to start at Basin Floor Camp. From Basin Floor Camp, you want to head east along the coast and you're going to get to this boathouse. Now, when you as you travel towards the boathouse, you're actually not just pursuing this ability. You're pursuing a quest called What Yet Lingers. Okay, and you're going to talk to Fisherman Arvid. Tell him you want to borrow his boat. He's going to tell you that in order to borrow the boat, you need to go talk to the Thane up at Stone Bear Hold. So, from here, you want to continue east and then north along the coast until you get up here to Stone Bear Hold. Go through a quick little uh, cutscene sequence with the uh, Thane. Chat her up, and she'll tell you that you can go ahead and use the boat. You head back down to the boathouse, talk to Fisherman Arvid one more time, and tell him that you have permission to use the boat. He's going to say, fine, whatever, go ahead and use it, and you're going to come out here onto the dock. And when you choose Row Boat, it's going to take you out to an island. When you get out to the island... You want to head down here towards this quest marker. So we're going to be heading southeast on the island. We're headed towards this broken down house that you see off in the distance. And once we get over there, there is going to be a rift that you need to open. Now it's not going to pop out any uh, demons that try to attack you. There's just some uh, story-driven content that you uh, interact with here. So we will get over here at the rift, go ahead and open it up, and a spirit that is representing Talana is going to pop out. It's going to be a bit of uh, conversation that goes on here. I'll skip through that. It's not what we're here for. And once you get done with the conversation... On Talana's corpse, you will find your new Inquisitor ability called Aegis of the Rift. So go ahead and grab that, and then we'll be back in just a moment to see how that specs out, what the details are with it, and then we'll go try it out. So we'll be back in just a sec. Alright, so now that we have our new Inquisitor ability, Aegis of the Rift, Let's talk about what it does. It says, you turn the veil into a magical shield that deflects enemy projectiles. What does that mean? Uh, so any type of projectile that gets shot at you will be absorbed by the um, quote-unquote uh, veil. And what this looks like is it's just a giant bubble that's in a four meter radius that your group will stand in and sh uh, spells that get shot at you, arrows that get shot at you, bolts that get shot at you, just reflect off of it. You have two ways to modify it. The first is you have a cooldown reduction. The original cooldown on the ability is 90 seconds. With taking this ability, you drop it by 30 seconds, so it goes down to a 60 second cooldown. The other one is that um, you can have it set up so that it returns damage when someone uh, shoots something at the barrier. So it says five damage per character level that's not entirely accurate um, and a reason I point that out is because there was some discussion on the forums as to how this really worked and what it took into account and when I cut over to the actual gameplay footage and show you how it works you'll see the numbers uh, on the damage that are being reflected back are really high and that was because I, I wound up tweaking up my attack percentage value to see if it had any effect on the damage being returned and it absolutely does so it takes into account your attack percentage your uh, your crit damage bonus, your crit chance, all that good stuff, and you will see that as the numbers uh, show up on the screen when we cut to the gameplay video. So it's uh, nice because you get this as a free point. You don't have to put a point in it to get it. You have to put a point into these to modify it. It's not a focus ability like the uh, one in the center of the Inquisitor tree. So it's kind of like a free ability you can use every 60 seconds to um, reflect any type of you know spell or uh, projectile that gets shot at you. Is it game changing? No. Is it really cool? In my opinion, absolutely. Um, but uh, 
whether you put points into it or not to modify it, that's really up to you. As far as my spec goes, I don't really have anywhere else that I give a care about putting points. Uh, my spec is what my spec is. Um, so I just dump some points in here to play around with it. Um, so if you're in that position, you know, feel free, dump your points in there, play around with it, have some fun, use it as a fun ability. Uh, but it's not really game changing in my opinion. Um, it's just, uh, it's a nice to have. So we will be back in just a second. We'll uh, see this in action. All right. So here is the bubble in action. So you can see it does return shots at the guys. It does proc your hidden blades ability if you have it. Um, even with the, uh, I have the attack percentage turned up to 100% on here, just as I said, uh, trying to see what that would affect. And it absolutely um, does <laughs> increase the damage in a ridiculous way. But it's still really not enough that I think it's uh, useful so that you would say, hey, I'm going to replace another ability with this. It's just not uh, anything that I found to be too special. So use it, uh, use it as a fun ability, but uh, in the end, it's not uh, game-changing, as I said in the previous cut. So hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Take care.